from the IHTN studios, it's Braves Beat. Hello, Indian Hill, and welcome to Braves Beat. I'm Dakota Condor. And I'm Kyle McSorley. So, Kyle, do you have anyone in mind for a special old people day? Isn't it just special person's day? That's why I said. So do you have anyone in mind for it? Yes, I'm planning to bring in my grandpa, but I haven't given him the letter yet. Well, neither have I, but there's still time to turn it in. Uh, to elaborate, on Friday, seniors need to bring your special person for a delicious morning breakfast, a beautiful concert from the school's music program, and a speech from our very own Dr. Miles. It's going to be a great time for the spirit-filled seniors, so don't forget to invite your special person. Another message for the seniors. Um, isn't there supposed to be another picture for this? Thank you. Uh, it's about time that you start thinking about your senior pictures. Put your teeth in, smile, and submit to the office. It's not due until March, but unless you want picture with bare trees, take your senior pics soon. Winter is coming, after all. Boost your badges tonight from 5.30 to 7.30. Be sure to come and support our teams. There'll be face paints, still walkers, balloon arts, and even jugglers. If this doesn't satisfy you, then how about pizzas, snacks, or drinks before the game? Make sure to stop by before the football team takes on Roger Bacon at 7 p.m. We have another booster bash, but with another kind of football. Next Wednesday and Thursday, we will have a soccer booster bash. These events are both, are both nights, and you'll be treated to food from Texas Jones and Marty's Waffles from 6 to 7. And you'll also have the opportunity to meet players from the FC Cincinnati. So bring your family soccer enthusiasts. And if you want to dream for professionalism, they'll have a chance to meet their future coaches. This Labor Day weekend, the Braves marching band traveled to Lincoln Airport and to meet a group of veterans who are coming to Cincinnati with the USO. The band really enjoyed the performance and thought it was a great way to contribute meaningfully to the USO. Great job, Braves! Our Braves football team played on Friday, and even though we lost, we put up a good fight. Thanks to all the Braves who came out to support us in the team, even in the rain. Check out this clip for a couple of highlights from the game. Let's take a look at this, uh, you, this play. Go ahead. Yeah. So you'll see, see some penetration. It flushes Benaski out to the left side, and you see number 53. Prather and Edmonds still running around over there, and that's a handful. How about Marco Fiore extending right at the end for the pylon? On Tuesday, the Indian Hill boys soccer team beat Reading 6-1 in their first win of the season. Great job out there, boys. The girls soccer team also played Reading on Wednesday. Let's look at how it went. Hey guys, I'm at the girls soccer game. It's halftime and check out the student section right here. It's great. Just kidding. It's not good. You should be here. Everyone should be here. What's the scoreboard? 5-1 at the half. They're doing Captain, he's clearly dressed for this occasion. Who is your favorite player on the team? Gotta go with number 18, Ellie Potagel. Who's your favorite player on the team? Uh, I'm gonna have to go with probably Ellie Potagel. Really? Oh, whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa, what was that? What was that? Ellie Potagel. We, we got beef? How do you guys feel? Uh <laughs> Thanks, Emily. To conclude, our news will be talking about Hurricane Harvey and how our Braves can support it. The student government is working on a service project to help the victims of Hurricane Harvey. Donations will be done through Matthew 25's ministry, and students will donate money through their homeroom via jars. That's all for this week. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, like our Braves Beat Facebook page, subscribe to us on YouTube, and email us with any school updates. And as always, stay classy, classy Indian, Indian Hill. Hill.